Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our blind Let's Play Shadow Hearts 2 or Shadow Hearts Covenant for the PS2. My name is Flatless Burr, this year's Toybase Gaming Channel, and today we are going to go to Lahav after finally completing the subway system. Just want to get a recap. I want to do this like once every three or four episodes. Just, you know, go through our score, see how we're doing. So we fought 74 battles. Uh, we're getting used to the Judgment Ring with an 86.27% rate. Uh, challenger at perfect successes and uh, ready for action at a very high 25-27 combo ring. Uh, we're 4 4 at the shop and we travel 71.43 miles, which is from Tokyo to Omiya. Uh, we are ranked 92, which is in a Kimu, which is just higher than this thing. These are enemies that we just fought in the subway sta uh, section. Uh, if, we're, if we're ranked, equal to or higher than the enemies that we're currently fighting. I think that may not be a bad thing. I don't know. I just know that, you know, hey, we're not doing too bad. Uh, we haven't run yet, but we have gone berserk once. Uh, max hits, can't we cooperate at 10 hits? Funnily enough, our total hits is exactly 666. That's, um, uh, that's pretty ominous, I will say. Uh, zero shortcuts. I don't know what that, oh, that's the, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use shortcuts at all. I, I don't really understand why shortcuts are good. Uh, but we did get something good with battle bonuses at 44. We're at 222 max damage with 21 combo successes. And uh, yeah, so that's basically where we stand right now at 280 complete victories. Demon Sergeant. Our ring data looks like this. And uh, Nikolai had zero perfect successes. But he has a really high success rate at 96%. It looks like the one that I struggle with most is Karen with 80.26 and I do best with Geppetto. Geppetto has less targets and Karen has an extra target. So that may be why. As far as battles joined, uh, 60 total fights basically so far. Well, actually that's kind of seeming. It's 74 total fights. We had 14 fights with Nikolai and Karen. Hope you all are having a wonderful day today. Uh, decrepit Vincent. Oh, travelers, don't get me any of these. Not since the war started, getting so bad. Oh, we don't get many of these. Travelers, got it. But things are pretty dangerous right now, Lahav. Better watch out. Pretty sure there was a board game named Lahav. I heard it was, like, really, really good. Anxious Olivia. I want to tell anyone else this, but I'm more afraid of the Vigilante group than the Bandit. Bunch of hooligans. You know, I now we have a um a lottery ticket. Seal of force. Okay, now we have a lottery ticket. We may want to go back to the original town. Uh to see if there's any lotto people there. Uh Gerard, well if it isn't you and your friends. Fancy seeing you here. Your people aren't stuck with me, are you? Tihi? Ah, smell that French ocean breeze. Nice place to do a little shopping, no? Yeah, okay, what do you got? Uh let's see here. Uh, the weapons are still the same, but we do have new armor. Yes, we have new armor. And we can afford it, which is good. Pocket watches. I really would like to get pocket watches. They're really, really good, but eh. Uh, body bracelet. Protects against paralysis. Stops mental break. What do, I, I think that's SP loss. So this would be really good on characters that have low SP like Karen, I would imagine. Uh, let's just get the armor for now. Alright, a little discount, not a lot, but you know, we, we're 5 points to the next rank. Uh, we could probably get that if we buy some items. Uh, do we need to buy some items? It'd be great if we bought two of the Talisman of Lux. Uh, one tent. Um... We have plenty of leaves and a couple of soul benedictions. And we're now ranked D. Awesome. Cool. So next time we buy something, we'll be able to uh, get 20% discount. Uh, let's go ahead and equip. I'm not going to do recommended because that's not the best thing. Let's check out the leather cloak. 
Sleeve this overcoat fashion from deer skin. Treat it with elm bark smoke. It is resistant to insects and mold. A good cloak for travelers. And the wool coat? Pure sheep's wool coat. Warm in winter but hot in summer. A normal coat, but the thick material from which it is made offers good, quite good protection. Alright, get her in the leather coat. Get her the leather cloak. And uh, we have uh, the best armor for everyone that we can. Babyish Toto. Do you guys know about the bandit? My mom told me that he comes out at night. So I have to go to bed early. It stinks. No, we haven't heard about the bandit. Uh, which way do we want to go? Do we want to go this way or towards the uh, the shipyard? Uh, I guess we can go this way. There's maybe a secret back here. Got a pure leaf. Out of my way, you lot. Quit blocking the road. Huh, people these days. What do you mean I'm blocking the road? You followed me up here. And you literally blocked me in. I, I maybe should take your own advice, you old hag. Uh, what? You want to cross with England? We got some merchant ships sailing it th from this town. Try talking to the crew. Okay. That's right. I wanted to go to get the chest. And we got to cut. Oh, hello, Ring Soul. I am the Ring Soul, the will of the judgment, the mystery of all fate. You again, Ring Spirit, right? No, my name is Ring Soul. Let me say it again, Ring Soul. Okay, okay, I got it. You're here too, give me another one of those, um, you know, right? Those attack boost things? Oh, the dots. I have little choice. I can see it, I can see a future of this, I trust to you. Yep, we got an attack boost. The power to command the judgment ring. Such power will help you carve your way through destiny. Oh boy, thanks. Your gratitude seems insincere. No, no, wait, wait really, I I'm really happy, thanks. Oh, the dots. I will appear to you again, but so upon you more power. But beware, I'm always watching, watching to see if you are truly the one to command destiny. I wonder what that means. Aha, we meet again. Okay, where am I going to use this? I think before I try to max out my other characters, in terms of extra attacks, I think I'm going to make sure um, everyone else has like a third attack. And I'm going to try to increase your... Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna help. Uh, what do we have? We got physical defense down. SP defend down. Okay. Let's get the chest. I uh, got a terror seed. It's like the only reason I came back here was the seed and I got a ring soul. Unemployed Henry. What? You want to cross with England? We got some merchant ships set up with sound. Try talking to the crew. Doesn't look like they're open yet. Hmm. Out of my way, you old hag. Jeez. It's a good little side detour here. You want to ride my ship? Haha, it's not that simple, I'm afraid. Off the coast, it's calling with German submarines right now. We'd be taking our lives to our hands, going out there. But we might be able to talk, depending on the price. Hey, hey, if you ain't got no money, you go see the mayor. He's looking for vigilante group members. See if he can get you hired. Captain Mirko, you want to ride my ship? Oh, wait. That, that was Captain Mirko. Then where's this guy? Oh, okay. They're basically tag teaming. So I need to go see the mayor to ask about money. Hey, we got a lottery member. Hey, you guys. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hold on a minute. Uh, what is it? You're holding us up. That lottery ticket you got. The one for lottery. And it tells you to hold a lottery with any lottery member in the world. A lottery with any member. You don't got time for that now. Come on, get out of the way. Ah, don't try to deceive yourself. You know you want to? Give it to your desire. Let's play the lottery. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Not much of a choice, huh? Uh, woohoo. All right, let's do it then. Just keep it cool and go for it. Now, by the way... I'm going to continue doing what I did in the last playthrough, which is I'm not going to save scum. Whatever I get is what I get. Oh! Strike out. Here's a constellation prize. Oh, that was so close. So basically, yeah, we missed out on the crest because I am not going to save scum. It's just what I'm going to do. I am. Uh, I'm going to play this game as fairly as I can uh, because I think if you save scum 
It kind of takes some of the, uh, it, it takes some of the, um, I, I mean, it's nice to have all the abilities and all the spells and everything like that. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and I, I, I will not judge someone for not doing it. I just know for myself, I think it's, it, it takes some of the fun out of the game for me when I try to, uh, when I try to abuse gaming systems to get everything. I, I just take what the game gives me, basically. That's how I roll. Uh, Alter here, hold our hand up to it. Trust fills your heart once again. We got a vast, the vastitas soul, the vastidas soul, vastidas. That sounds cool. All right, so uh, I asked, uh, what soul should we power up? And the answer was dark slash light, uh, with two votes for dark. So we're gonna go dark, and then we're gonna go light. Um, but what we're going to do is we're gonna make sure dark is two levels higher than everyone. We're gonna make sure light is one level higher than one. Then we're gonna level up everything else. I think that's kind of what I'm going to do with these. Darkness covers your despair. You got a Rex's soul. Oh, it looks like I can't actually take it up a step higher. Okay, well, if I can't take it up a step higher, that means we're gonna go light. But what I wanna do is I wanna try to level up dark higher first and then light and then everything else. Uh, I don't wanna know what my next priorities are going to be. Uh, if, you, if you have suggestions, let me know, but it's going to be dark, light, and then whatever. Uh, let's charge up light. How much do we need? Uh, 60 and we're at 114. Oh, man, that means we're six away from leveling up a different uh, element. Six points away. 10%. So close. Flash of light pierces your heart. You got a Poira soul. A Poira! Ah! Just saw Poiras in uh, Legend of... Uh, not Legend of Lagoon. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I almost said Legend of Dragoon. Legend of Lagaya. Right, Legend of Lagaya. My brain is just not working. Uh, let's see. I, I do want to play Legend of Dragoon on the channel, though. That will be coming eventually. Don't worry. Uh, maybe after the next trilogy. The next trilogy, of course, being Paper Mario, uh, Breath of Fire 3, or Lunar 1, and then the second Paper Mario. And then we're going to have a new trilogy that's going to have probably Breath of Fire 3 or Lunar 1, one of the two, uh, Legend of Dragoon. And then uh, Grandia 3 is slowly starting to get into my discussion of games that I might want to play. Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, Fusion. We have Vestidas. Uh, Earth Spirit born from a long suffering soul. Its body is covered in rock that acts as a shield. Protect the Harmon Nixer from attacks. Looks really, really cool, by the way. Alright, and uh, level twos. Where are they at? Arexis. Whoa. Dude, that's a big difference from that guy. Wow, it's like a gargoyle. A greater dark angel called forth by the wicked soul. Greater Dark Angel born from the darkness and malice in Harmonix's soul. It grants massive destructive power to those who never yield in combat. Ah, oh, that thing looks amazing. And Puera. So we got our angel friend back. Greater Angel of Light manifested by a virtuous soul that doesn't flinch from evil. With the power of God's judgment, it smites the forces of darkness. Alright, and let's look at the skills. We have Barrier, which increases special defense, and Heaven. Uh, it's a four-hit anti-ground, so just normal attacks. Uh, special attack power and Hell Eyes, Dark Class, special damage. Oh, wait. That was uh, Nox. Sorry. Arexis. Yeah, he, they got the same skills. That's weird. They have the same skills. But... Why does it say EXP2 next 18? 
do these guys have to level up by fighting? But his EXP is at zero and I've used Carol before. So how does that work? How do these get leveled up? Hmm. By the way, he has shield and crag, which is five hits anti-ground. Oh wait, we can charge our souls from here? Oh, we could charge our souls at the lantern. Or we could charge our souls here. I understand. And I bet you anything, if you charge your soul here, it applies to both uh, fusions. Let's see. So I was going to do dark first. Yep, it, it did. So it applies to both. So you need to use your your soul to power up new uh, a different fusion. Uh, but in here, you need to use soul power to power up your your levels. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level up dark first, then light, and then everything else. Uh, so dark will always be two levels higher, light will always be one level higher, and everything else will always be, you know, plus my zero. I think that's a good way to do it. Uh, but since we need 40 to power this up, I'm not going to power up light. Because, you know, I gotta make sure that this is plus two. So, yeah, that's just what we're going to do. Uh, I hope that works for everyone. Is this going to make me leave? No, it's not going to make me leave town. It's like a... A storage area. Extremely poor Mahone. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I'm so hungry. It hurts just to speak. I'm sorry, buddy. I mean a lot that you're extremely poor. It's just really, really... The adjectives in this game. Alright, we got a wool coat, which is a shame because we've already bought one. And we got a tent. So, those are things that we could sell later, I guess. Uh, no other items. I am constantly running against the wall to check for items. There's gotta be an item back here. I mean, come on. There we go. Hit area expand. Cool. Oh, there's actually a way we can enter here. I wonder if there's gonna be dragons. So, like, corner cross. Uh, let's see. Feed the dragons. Starbreach. Uh, that was, that was, um, that was not an easy minigame. It, you, uh, it, it's not a hard minigame. It's just one of those games where it's like, ugh, they, they, you, you hurt your hand after a while. When all our berserk allows escape with ring success. Uh, so I should go with someone who's got a lot of SP. Probably Geppetto. Because it also increases defensive stats. And uh, Yuri already has three uh, equipments. Can't go left. Okay. I'm assuming this is the mayor's house. Because it's the most expensive house around. Wow, look at that. Look at that rug. like the mafia has arrived. Cole, the vigilante leader. So you want to join the vigilante group, eh? Well, that's right. We need the money. Hmm. Never seen you around here before. Who exactly are you? Wow, the way he walks. It's almost like he's wanting like a penguin. Hey, it's a penguin friend. I could appreciate that. And plus, penguin in the Batman was like a mafia mobster. So it kind of fits. All right, Mr. Penguin, what do you got for us? We're travelers. We want to find a ship that would take us to England. And we, and we finally found one. But now, they had to earn some money for the fare. Oh, Zetsu. Well, if you do a good job for me, I'll give you a final word. Squaw, squaw! Such a, uh, such a small town needs a vigilante group, eh? Oh, is that because of the war? In a way, there's been some more crime since the war started. A bandit's been showing up every night. We've been keeping a sharp eye out, but he's a tough customer. We can't seem to catch him. Think you guys can do it? Eh, nah, sure, why not? We'll get him snatched up before you know it. They can do it. 
They may not look like much, but they're good. Um, um, I wonder if you were good in other things. Um, um, uh, Alright then, well, let, let's give you a try then. We'll set you off on town patrol tonight. Work hard now, no slacking. You got it. Okay, can't go in that door. Let's talk to the penguin. Uh, don't blame me if you get hurt, okay? Or worst case scenario, if you die. Duh, duh, duh. I like how they follow you. Oh, look at this guy's neck. Does that hurt? I mean, seriously, you guys. Your, your necks aren't supposed to bend like that. Morgan, be careful. That bandit messed up my friend's ankle with a special hole the other day. Had to go to the hospital. Man, I see Morgan. I think of the, uh, uh the warden from the dresser files. Mess up his ankle with a special hold? Well, this guy can pick up anything that's lying around and use it as a weapon. Trust me, you don't want to see it. Uh, it doesn't sound like an ordinary thief. Be careful, that bait mess. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be the same. You still got some time until nightfall. When you're all set to go bandit hunting, let me know. I, I don't want to go yet. I want to search around. Hey, we got another lottery ticket. Uh, I'm only gonna play each lottery member once until the end game. So we're gonna get one shot, just one, on every lot of member. Because in the original Shadow Hearts, you had to play every lot of member to unlock the final one. And we never unlocked the final one because I got stingy with tickets. And we're not doing that this game. So we're gonna play every single lot of member we find at least once. Or exactly once, I should say. And then at the end game, we'll have hopefully some leftover tickets that we can use. And at that point, we'll go ahead and uh, save scum to get, you know, the best possible items we can. But, like I said, that's that's only once we've gotten to the end. Not until then. Uh, we are ready to go. We've explored this town pretty readily. The others are already on patrol. Good luck to you guys, okay? So do we just leave? Is this like uh, Shallow Hearts 1 with a shloop, shloop, shloop? Yeah, it looks like it's already dark out. We'll be patrolling the northern part of town where the warehouses are. You take the south. Be on your guard now. Ah, <sighs> that bandit sure is scary. Hope we don't run into him. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and drop a save. You know I just noticed when you run over the save point, like, you see this spirit, like, flying into the air. It's really, really cool, by the way. Did you, did you guys see it? Like, watch. You see that thing float up in the air? It's so cool. Alright, I'm assuming the bandit's gonna be uh, down here. Ah, uh, not open yet still. Okay. I guess I'm wrong. You joined the vigilante group to earn the ship fare? Well, just don't get hurt now or I'll spoil your trip. Ah, I'm fine. I mean, we're not fighting a demon, it doesn't look like, so there's no random battles here. We just got- oh, there we go. Ah, I give up, I give up, ah! Time out, time out, hey, that tech is legal, ah! Those voices. Over there. Alright, well, let's run back to help our new friends. And let's see what's up with this bandit. What are y'all expecting? A really, really big guy. That's what I'm expecting. Like, sort of like a circus performer. You know, one of those strong men. What happened here? Because if he can use almost any weapon. <laughs> Who's that? And the forces of darkness descend in the name of justice, this fist. In the name of truth, these muscles. In the name of honor, this blood. <laughs> I was expecting a superhero. I mean, it kind of looks like he's in a circus, but that is, um... Uh... Champion of truth and justice, Grand Papillon. That's a big log. Ready to all evildoers. <laughs> you can face the unfettered fury of my rippling muscles, then come on! What? Huh? What? <laughs> and we're fighting it. Him. Whatever he is. The Papillon? The Grand Papillon. 
Alright, what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna combo. Uh, with... Geppetto. Uh, Geppetto? And I'm gonna have you... Uh, what's the best thing? Open up with your strong spell or a multi-hit spell? Well, the most hits you can do is two. Or two there. So we might as well open up with um, our best spell. Wow, for some reason that moved really slow. Did I equip the wrong item? I think I did. Alright, good start. Who, who wants snacks? Um, um, I want Yuri to go next. And we're gonna fuse into Odexus. And uh, Delwise is three hit. Or are we going to just hit him? Let's use Double Eyes. Or Hell Eyes. Sorry. That did do a whole lot. Uh, Blocker, you're up. Uh, we're going to use uh, your Soul Comet here. Nice. All right, Karen. Oh, we got a fourth one now. I'm gonna go with the fourth one. All right, let's see if I can do it. Why oh, is that so hard? So hard. All right, well, that's kind of cheating. Um, gotta go with Karen here. Didn't move. Uh, Karen, why don't you... Uh, why don't you pop him up? Alright, who's next? Uh, Lexus? Uh, why don't you, uh, knock him down? Uh, Blanca, uh, use your manifestation. And Geppetto, take, I don't know, what is this, five? Oh. I swear, I messed up on his equipment. He's got the thing that makes his judgment go slower, which isn't a bad thing. It's just I'm not used to it. So because I'm not used to it, I um, I misjudge it. The, the flying demon is really cool. Misses. I would have loved to see the combo magic. I really would have. That's that, I guess. So, Vitaly, you know what I can do? I can try to put the 50% on Geppetto and have him be my fusion guy, uh, my fusion magic guy, and uh, because he has the most magic attack. Um, that may not be a bad thing to do. Wait, he's a huh? bat? <laughs> You pack a pretty good punch. What? Time for me to go now, kids. We'll meet again. Wait. He, he turned into a bat. What? Well, he's certainly good at running away. Hmm. I'm sure I've met him before. Have I met a golden bat? And Shadow Hearts 1? 
didn't we fight a golden bat uh, with, uh, you know, at the end, a uh, one-on-one -one fight? Pretty sure that's what's happened. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting him to turn into a bat. Uh, and that's what happened. I'm afraid we let him get away. You changed into a bat? What a very odd character indeed. But you people must be awfully good to drive the great Grand Papilla and all. I'm truly impressed with all of you. All the dots. Okay, Cole. Show these people to the shop. Get this over with quickly. Uh, yes, Mayor. Come to the south end of town later. Fine. Okay, is that it? Uh, let's go ahead and cure up. Although, I'll probably just take a rest somewhere. Come to the south end of town later. Uh, let me check his equipment. Because like I said, I think I missed this up. Okay, you, you do have the plus 25% reducing. I kind of just want to give you the plus 50% eventually. Uh, but why don't we go ahead and put the star bridge on Blanca here. I can't believe you made the bandit run away. You must be pretty good. Bandit changed the bat? Sounds like some kind of magic trick. Alright, folks. Hurry up and catch the bandit. You hear it? And you'll be handsomely rewarded. That's so weird. I was expecting him to turn into a golden bat. Uh, south end of town? Down here? Uh, no. I think the south end of town was the area that we fought, um, the Grand Papillon. Papillon? Papillion? Papillion? Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, this is where we're supposed to go. Psst, over here. Uh, what did you want us to come here for? You gonna buy us a meal or something? Shh. Look at that. Hmm? The, oh, uh, the seagull, eh? No, that's the name of the tavern. Not that. Look over there. Huh? The Grand Papillon. Hmm, I just know I've seen that guy somewhere before. But he's with kids. He thinks of himself as a hero, right? So I don't get it. If you knew who this guy was, here's a little advance. I'll give you the other half once you take taking care of that guy. Got it? If you know where he is and who he is, why don't you guys catch him yourself? All the dots. Uh, good luck now. Hey, wait! Don't waddle away from me. Penguin! We're counting on you. We know you can do it. Bye-bye. Uh... Well, there he goes. Uh, what do you want to do? I want to close it. Hmm, something's odd. If he really was such a big bad bandit, would little kids be hanging around with, with him? But we already took half the money. Uh, eerie. Let's at least try talking to him anyway. I mean, if you kind of knew where this guy was all along. Uh, you guys. Hi there. Your king. Yeah, now get out of here. Okay, okay, just relax. Don't get so worked up. I don't know what the mayor told you, but I'll never let you take us alive. <laughs> Tell me why you are stealing and causing so much trouble in the town. Joachim is protecting the star and the children from the mayor and his cronies. We got another evil mayor. Makes sense. Guy does look like the penguin. <laughs> the store? It's my treasure, I'm afraid. The mayor wants to get his hands on it. Oh, yeah? 
What is this treasure anyway? The deed to this store. Three months ago, on his deathbed, the man who built this store told me about a treasure buried beneath here. Treasure? Is it really true? Well, I've been living here for 30 years, and that's the first I've heard of it. But ever since, they've been bullying me to get me to give up the store. Oh, I hate bullies. So the vigilante group. Yes, that's right. So that's why, Grand Papillon. Right again. Ah. Should we go and take back the money? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? All right. Well, um. As with everything, things aren't as simple as they seem. Granny Lot. Yeah, you're going to give the mayor back his money. Then I'll reward you with a nice dinner when you get back. Oh, well, that's good. I like homemade cooking by Grandma. Got it manually. Not too bad. Just to steal all this stuff while we're at it. Gotta love being a hero in an RPG. Break into someone's home and just go through their stuff and take everything. There was a game that I was playing called Mugen Souls. And in Mugen Souls, uh, you were looking for the hero of the world because you go to different worlds. And um, there was this guy wandering around and taking pots off the ground and smashing pots and looking through them. And the hero's like, or the, the main character's like, that's the hero. I was like, what do you mean? You see the hero open up a dresser and try to take stuff out of it. She's like, oh, well, like, heroes always do that in RPGs. They, they wander around, smash stuff, and look through other people's things. It's just so weird, but it's true. We've already been playing for over five hours? How is that possible? I feel like we're just starting this game. Hey, you're back. So, what happened? Did you get him? Huh? What? What's the meaning of this? Ah, we changed our minds. Sorry, but we quit the vigilante group. Hey, are you guys going back on your word? No, they just found out the truth. Well, that's all. And you're the ones who are in the wrong here. Ah, I almost have my hands on that treasure, too. Don't think you'll be leaving here alive. Ah, cool. Men, take care of them. Really, you guys? We're really doing this? I mean, come on. Seriously? Like, do you know who I am? Did you not see me, like, wipe out? Come on, dudes. Seriously. Such is the power of Blanca. Oh, we got a manually for that. Very cool. Eat! Help! He he he! No! Are you ready for Sama? No, uh, we uh. Fine, we're leaving. Yes, yes, fine. Oh! Yes, that's right. Come at me, I'll give you more wind power. Ha 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 ha! I love how Block is like the last one to stay, considering how he just blew them all away with his magic. Dang you! You won't get away with this, you pesky kids! And your little puppy, too! <laughs> I mean, there's Scooby Doo references to make themselves on that one. Alright, let's head back to uh, Grandma here and the Grand Papillon. Or right, Joachim, right? Oh, you're back. No, that's not his voice. He's like a superhero voice. Got the mayor to see things our way. I don't think he'll bother you anymore. They gave him a good talking to. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Come on in and rest, everybody. Got the big gregarious lot. 
I can't do this to be her voice, sorry. My voices are horrible. I know they are, but I just have fun with them. I hope you guys have fun with them too. Here you came. What's the matter? What's the matter, Granny? What happened? The children, Yuma and John. Come down, Granny. What happened to the children? The vigilante group, those hooligans took them. They said if we want them back, we had to bring the deed to the wine cellar. The bastards. Are you serious? Those scum. Oh, we can't let them get away with this now, can we? We should help. Oh, oh. You bet. Of course we'll help. You can access party members. Oh, so he's joining our party. You can change the members of your battle team and their settings for your party members on the command menu. There's detailed explanation. Sure, why not? Looks like there's enough space for eight characters. On the party member screen, you can choose your battle team and change the settings of the team members. Try using Team C for now. So you can customize three teams? Set a team by selecting the team you want to form and choosing the members you want to add to it like this. If you want to swap a team member for someone else, select the team and that then the team member you're swapping. It looks like you don't need Yuri in every team as well. They'll be swapped like this. Pressing the circle button while a specific team is highlighted will assign the team for battle. Now team A is selected, so the next time you go into battle will be team A that does the fighting. And when you're moving around, you can quickly change between teams using L1 and L2? Oh wow, that's gonna make uh, adventuring very easy. Cause you know I love to swap around uh, teams. All right, team A is gonna be Yuri with Kurt, Karen and uh, Blanca and Geppetto. Wait, I can't use Geppetto? Oh, no, I need Joachim in my party. Ah. All right, so we're going to go with uh, uh, this team. And then this team's going to be uh, Yuri with Joachim, uh, Geppetto, and Blanca. And then this team's going to be Yuri with... Uh, Joaquim, I'm gonna make Joaquim uh, slot number two here. There we go. Um, Blanca's third. Okay, who's who do we need to sub out? We got a team with Geppetto. Okay, so we need to put Geppetto out. So we need Joaquim, Karen, and then Blanca. So every team has the first two characters and the next two characters get differentiated. All right, cool. So it looks like we'll start with this and then we'll rotate out. So let's see, L1. Oh, this is really nice. I like this change. Like everything in this game has been uh, such an improvement over the last game. The last game was already really good. The wine cell is just outside town. Be careful now. What did you say? What'd she say? Oh, please God, protect you and John. I'll pray for the safe return. Uh, did you earn your ship fare? No, I haven't. Are you still gonna be mean to me? Yeah, she's still mean to me. All right, well, let's head to the wine yard. We're kind of running out of time for the day, but I do want to possibly get started with it. Oh, you know what we need to do? I just realized we're gonna have to go to uh, Ring Custom, Joachim. Uh, he's already got, wow, look at that third hit. Jeez, it's huge. Uh, add on effects, we'll add on physical attack down. Uh, ring type, we'll go technical. And then crest change. You know, it helps if you look at him first for this bird. Yes, I know, I know, let me see. Uh, he's earth type, very heavy. He's got drain touch, which I basically guess, um, yeah, drained one enemy HP. He's very like uh, our vampire friend from the last game. 
Uh, trained as a pro wrestler, this vampire is devoted to justice to take himself to any of the weak and defenses of society. So he is a vampire. Huh. What if he's the same one that we met before? What does DCP mean, by the way? Does he come with quest magic? Yes, he does. Uh, he has Grimory and Agaris. Uh, okay, cool. I was getting worried that uh, not getting that other quest would mean we're at a weakened position here. We may actually be at a weakened position here because maybe that new quest has an AoE cure spell that we're not going to have. And because we don't have it, we're not going to be, you know, as strong as what we should be. Uh, yeah, something that may be true. Uh, Yuri, uh, what, what's your, um, how much do you need? We need 40. So let's go power up this up to level three. You can now use Mind Assault. Drain MP from an enemy, all right? And so the next thing we're going to do is power up uh, Prayra and Radius. And then once they get to level two, we're gonna power up Nox to level four Pray to level three, and then everything else to level two. So that's kind of how I'm gonna move forward. Dark is always gonna be the strongest. Light is always gonna be second strongest, and then everything else is gonna be everything else. Did I just go back to the Harv? I did, didn't I? I'm so dumb. All right, wine cellar. Gotta rescue the kids. Oh look, we're. Wow, the way he walks is very, very weird. What's with people's movements in this game today? Uh, where are the children? Don't try to get in the way. Sorry, I accidentally clicked through the, uh, the first dialogue because I was mashing X to, uh, to, you know, um, uh, try to search for items. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and fuse into Alexis. I don't know if I'm going to be strong enough to just take out these guys, so that's why I'm going like this. Although what I can do is I can always combo with uh, Joachim. Uh, combo with Joachim. Combo with... Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can use Rock Pot. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and high angle uh, these two guys. This guy. Well, there goes my combo! Just like that. That's tragic. Now I basically gave them first turn. And they are going to wreck my face now. Oh my god, this is gonna be painful. Well, at least we're uh, more fusion form, so our defense should be a little bit higher. But oh my god, this hurts! Alright, that, that was not cool for this bird. Yeah, I know, I know. Let's let's try that one more time, shall we? Uh combo. Alright. Let's try this again. Bird, you never learn. I know, I know, I know. I don't know why I just failed twice in a row. That was very, very bad. Oh my god, why can't I... Why can't I do anything with your king? I, I can't seem to do anything with him. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just can't seem to hit. Ah, uh, we're taking way too much damage this fight. This is a disaster of a fight. That's all I can say. This is just a disaster. This, this, 
This is why this game is kind of awesome. Because... Because this game is set up in such a way where... This game is set up in such a way that... You just can't use X or cross or A, whatever, to just mass through combat. You actually have to have a little bit of skill at playing the game. Because if you don't have any skill, then you're going to die no matter what enemy you're facing. And that's basically what happened to me in this fight. Keep your eyes where they belong. Lack of skill equals horrific results. And I was just saying in a comment section uh, earlier, you know, hey, I'm getting better. No, Why I'm not. You just morph yourself. I already told you before, Yuma has my mask. What's that got to do with anything? A hero has to have one or two weak points, you know. Nobody loves a perfect superhero. Your brains are enough of a weak point if you ask me. <laughs> oh, that's cold, Yuri. Dude, come on. Get the guy a break. Oh, man. We, we got trucked in that last fight. Absolutely trucked. Uh, all right, um, kind of do need to save and take a break. We are basically nearing that time. I just want to... I just want to... Yeah, we'll, we'll take a break. Because I don't want to get too far into the next dungeon and then, you know, and then say... Uh, we need to go back and save. I'd rather just pick it up here. All right, my friends. Well, my name is Slayspo. This is your Gaming Channel, and this is our blind let's play. Shout out hearts to Covenant. Our uh, we 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 started off very very well, and we were doing good. And then that last fight, I don't know what happened, but that last fight was just a train wreck. Oh my goodness, that was that was not not good at all. Uh, but yeah, uh, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. We'll explore the wine cellar in our next episode. And until then, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.